Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this episode, we delve into 20 most tragic stories of 1970s forgotten stars. Despite once gracing the silver screen and captivating audiences, these stars faced personal struggles, career setbacks, and untimely deaths. Join us as we explore the 20 most tragic tales of these overlooked icons, shedding light on the darker side of fame and fortune in the tumultuous world of Hollywood. Number 20. Benny Hill was born in Southampton, England. He gained international fame as a comedian, actor, and singer, but he is best remembered for his iconic television show, The Benny Hill Show. The program featured slapstick comedy, satire, and memorable characters like Fred Scuttle and the Hills Angels. Hill's comedic genius and unique style endeared him to audiences worldwide, making him one of the most recognizable faces in comedy during the 1970s. However, despite his success on screen, Hill faced personal and professional challenges. In the later years of his life, Benny Hill's career began to decline, and he struggled with depression and loneliness. His irreverent humor fell out of favor with changing tastes in comedy, and he found it difficult to adapt to a new era of entertainment. Tragically, Benny Hill passed away on April 20, 1992, at the age of 68. His death marked the end of an era in comedy, leaving behind a legacy of laughter and nostalgia. Despite the challenges he faced, his comedic brilliance continues to be celebrated and remembered fondly by fans old and new. Number 19. Paul Lind was born in Mount Vernon, Ohio. He became a household name through his roles in various television shows and films, but he is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Uncle Arthur on the sitcom, Bewitched. His flamboyant and witty personality made him a fan favorite, and his comedic timing was unmatched. Despite his success, Paul Lind struggled with alcoholism throughout his life. His addiction affected his career and personal relationships, leading to periods of instability and professional setbacks. However, Lind often used humor as a coping mechanism, turning his struggles into material for his performances. Tragically, Paul Lind passed away on January 10, 1982, at the age of 55, due to a heart attack. His death was a shock to many, and it served as a reminder of the dangers of addiction. Paul Lin's legacy in the entertainment industry lives on through his memorable performances and his influence on generations of comedians. He is remembered for his quick wit, comedic talent, and the mark he left on television and film. Number 18, Karen Carpenter was born in New Haven, Connecticut. She rose to fame as one half of the sibling duo The Carpenters, alongside her brother Richard Carpenter. Their melodic pop music, characterized by Karen's smooth contralto vocals, gained immense popularity during the 1970s. One of Karen's most notable contributions was her interpretation of Superstar, a song that showcased her emotional depth and vocal prowess. Tragically, Karen Carpenter faced a lifelong struggle with anorexia nervosa, a condition exacerbated by the pressures of fame and industry standards of beauty. Despite seeking treatment, her battle with the eating disorder ultimately claimed her life. She passed away on February 4, 1983, at the age of 32, due to heart failure caused by complications from anorexia nervosa. Karen Carpenter's legacy endures through her timeless music and the awareness she raised about the dangers of eating disorders. She remains an icon of 1970s pop culture, remembered for her unparalleled talent and the tragic circumstances surrounding her untimely death. Number 17. Wolfman Jack was born in Brooklyn, New York. He became a cultural icon and a legendary figure in radio broadcasting during the 1970s, thanks to his distinctive gravelly voice, 
charismatic personality, and love for rock and roll music. His late-night radio show, The Wolfman Jack Show, captivated audiences across and beyond, earning him a dedicated following. Despite his success, Wolfman Jack faced personal and financial struggles, including battles with substance abuse and financial woes. However, he remained dedicated to his craft and continued to connect with audiences through his electrifying radio presence. Tragically, Wolfman Jack passed away on July 1, 1995, at the age of 57, due to a heart attack. His death marked the end of an era in radio broadcasting, but his influence and legacy live on, inspiring generations of broadcasters and music lovers alike. Number 16, Tiny Tim, whose real name was Herbert Buckingham Corey, was born in New York City. He rose to fame in the late 1960s as a singer and ukulele player, becoming known for his distinctive falsetto voice and eccentric persona. One of his most notable performances was his rendition of Tiptoe Through the Tulips, which became his signature song and propelled him to stardom. Despite his initial success, Tiny Tim faced struggles in both his personal life and career, his unconventional appearance and style often made him a target for ridicule, and he struggled to maintain mainstream popularity beyond his novelty act persona. Tragically, Tiny Tim passed away on November 30, 1996, at the age of 64, after suffering a heart attack while performing at a ukulele festival in Minneapolis, Minnesota. His death marked the end of a unique chapter in music history, but his quirky charm and enduring legacy continue to fascinate and inspire fans around the world. Number 15, Deborah Lee Scott was born in Elizabeth, New Jersey. She gained recognition as an actress and comedian during the 1970s, particularly for her role as Kathy Shumway in the popular sitcom, Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Her portrayal of the quirky and endearing character endeared her to audiences and contributed to the show's success. Despite her professional success, Deborah Lee Scott faced personal struggles, including battles with substance abuse and mental health issues. These challenges affected her career and well-being, leading to periods of instability and difficulty. Tragically, Deborah Lee Scott passed away on April 5, 2005, at the age of 52, due to complications from atherosclerosis. Her death was a loss to the entertainment industry, and she is remembered fondly by fans for her contributions to television and comedy. Number 14, Bobby Driscoll, a beloved child star, was born in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, in 1937. He captured hearts with his performance as Jim Hawkins in Disney's adaptation of Treasure Island, which propelled him to fame. His portrayal of the adventurous and courageous young protagonist showcased his talent and charisma, earning him critical acclaim. Despite early success, Driscoll faced numerous challenges in his personal life. As he transitioned into adolescence, he struggled with the pressures of fame and the transition to adult roles. Additionally, he battled addiction issues, which ultimately led to a decline in his career and personal life. Tragically, Bobby Driscoll passed away in 1968 at the young age of 31 due to heart failure, a result of his struggles with substance abuse. His death went unnoticed for two years until his remains were identified through fingerprints. Driscoll's untimely demise shocked the entertainment industry and left a profound impact on his fans. Number 13, Corey Hyam was born on December 23, 1971, in Toronto, Canada. He was known as a talented child actor through films like The Lost Boys, License to Drive, and Lucas. However, early fame led Corey down a path of addiction and decline. 
At the age of 19, he became dependent on drugs. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, Corey struggled to overcome addiction and revive his dwindling film career. Ultimately, after years of living in loneliness, facing illness and poverty, Corey Hyam passed away from heart failure at the age of 38. His death serves as a poignant reminder of the devastating consequences of drugs and the pressures of stardom in Hollywood. Despite his bright talent, entangled in vices, Corey couldn't rise above and ended his life in lament. His story serves as a warning to young stars about the dangerous temptations of showbiz. Number 12. Margot Hemingway, whose full name was Margot Louise Hemingway, was born in Portland, Oregon. She rose to fame in the 1970s, primarily as a fashion model and actress. Hemingway gained widespread recognition for her striking beauty, grace, and unique style. One of her most notable achievements was her appearance on the cover of Time magazine in 1975, which solidified her status as a supermodel. Additionally, she starred in the film, Lipstick, in 1976, where she played a fashion model who seeks justice after a traumatic experience, a role that earned her critical acclaim. Despite her professional success, Margot Hemingway struggled with personal demons, including depression and substance abuse. She grappled with the pressures of fame and the weight of her family's legacy, being the granddaughter of renowned author Ernest Hemingway. Tragically, Margot Hemingway passed away in 1996 at the age of 42. Her death was ruled a suicide by overdose. Her untimely demise shocked the fashion and entertainment industries, leaving many to mourn the loss of a talented and iconic figure. Number 11. Cass Elliott, born Ellen Naomi Cohen, hailed from Baltimore, Maryland. She gained widespread recognition as a member of the iconic folk rock group The Mamas and the Papas. Elliott's powerful and soulful voice, coupled with her vibrant stage presence, contributed significantly to the band's success. Despite her professional accomplishments, Elliott faced personal struggles, including weight insecurities and societal pressures. She endured harsh criticism from the media and struggled with self-confidence throughout her life. Tragically, Cass Elliott passed away in 1974 at the age of 32 due to heart failure. Her death shocked the music world, leaving fans mourning the loss of her unique talent and spirit. Number 10. Lisa Robin Kelly was born in Southington, Connecticut. She rose to prominence with her role as Lori Foreman in the popular television sitcom, That 70s Show. Her portrayal of the rebellious and witty older sister of Eric Foreman earned her recognition and praise from audiences. Despite early success, Kelly faced personal struggles, including battles with addiction and legal issues. These challenges affected her career and personal life, leading to periodic absences from the show and ultimately her departure from the series. Tragically, Lisa Robin Kelly passed away in 2013 at the age of 43. Her death was attributed to accidental overdose, highlighting the devastating impact of substance abuse. Number 9. Sal Mineo was born in the Bronx, New York City. He gained fame with his breakout role as John Plato Crawford in the classic film, Rebel Without a Cause, starring alongside James Dean. Mineo's portrayal of a troubled and vulnerable teenager earned him critical acclaim and established him as a rising star in Hollywood. Despite his early success, Mineo faced challenges in his career as he struggled to break away from typecasting. He sought to diversify his roles and showcase his versatility as an actor, but found limited opportunities in the industry, 
Tragically, Salmonio's life was cut short when he was murdered in 1976 at the age of 37. His death shocked the entertainment world and left fans mourning the loss of a talented actor. Number 8. Jim Morrison, whose full name was James Douglas Morrison, was born in Melbourne, Florida. He gained fame as the lead singer and lyricist of the iconic rock band The Doors. Morrison's enigmatic persona, poetic lyrics, and charismatic stage presence made him one of the most iconic and influential figures in the history of rock music. Despite his professional success, Jim Morrison grappled with personal demons, including struggles with substance abuse and the pressures of fame. His unpredictable behavior on and off stage often landed him in trouble with authorities and strained his relationships with bandmates. Tragically, Jim Morrison passed away in 1971 at the young age of 27. His death, officially attributed to heart failure, occurred under mysterious circumstances in Paris, France, adding to the mythos surrounding his life and legacy. Number 7, Erin Moran, born in Burbank, California, gained prominence as an actress in the 1970s, particularly for her role as Joni Cunningham on the beloved television sitcom, Happy Days. Her portrayal of Joni, the younger sister of Richie Cunningham, endeared her to audiences and contributed to the show's enduring success. Despite her early success, Erin Moran faced challenges in her personal life and career. After Happy Days, she struggled to find steady work in Hollywood, and she faced financial difficulties and health issues. Tragically, Erin Moran passed away in 2017 at the age of 56. Her death was attributed to complications from stage 4 cancer. Her untimely passing saddened fans around the world, who remembered her fondly for her contributions to television and her memorable portrayal of Joni Cunningham. Number 6. Jack Wilde, born in Royton, Lancashire, England, rose to fame as a talented actor and singer in the 1960s and 1970s. He gained widespread recognition for his role as the artful dodger in the musical film, Oliver, in 1968, for which he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Wilde's energetic and memorable portrayal of the streetwise orphan endeared him to audiences worldwide. Following the success of Oliver, Jack Wilde continued to work in film and television, although he struggled to find roles that matched the success of his breakthrough performance. He also battled personal demons, including struggles with alcoholism, which affected his career and personal life. Tragically, Jack Wilde passed away in 2006 at the age of 53 due to complications from oral cancer. His untimely death saddened fans around the world, who remembered him fondly for his iconic role in Oliver and his contributions to entertainment. Number 5. Dana Plato was born in Maywood, California. She gained fame for her role as Kimberly Drummond in the popular television sitcom, Different Strokes. Plato's portrayal of the kind-hearted and compassionate daughter of a wealthy businessman earned her recognition and praise from audiences worldwide. Despite her early success, Dana Plato faced personal struggles, including battles with addiction and financial difficulties. These challenges took a toll on her career and personal life, leading to periods of unemployment and strained relationships. Tragically, Dana Plato passed away in 1999 at the age of 34. Her death was attributed to a drug overdose, highlighting the devastating impact of substance abuse.
Number 4. David Cassidy was born in New York City. He rose to fame as a teen idol in the 1970s, particularly for his role as Keith Partridge in the television series, The Partridge Family. Cassidy's charismatic presence and musical talent made him a heartthrob for millions of fans worldwide. Despite his professional success, David Cassidy faced personal struggles, including battles with alcoholism and legal issues. These challenges took a toll on his health and career, leading to periods of instability and public scrutiny. Tragically, David Cassidy passed away in 2017 at the age of 67. His death was attributed to liver failure, a result of his long-standing battle with alcoholism. His passing saddened fans around the world, who remembered him fondly for his contributions to music and television. Number 3. Alison Arngram, born in New York City, rose to fame for her portrayal of the iconic character Nellie Olson on the TV series, Little House on the Prairie. Nellie's cunning and manipulative nature made Arngram a standout in the show's cast, earning her widespread recognition. However, behind the scenes, Arngram faced personal struggles, including childhood abuse and later, battling with addiction. Despite these challenges, she bravely turned her life around, becoming an advocate for survivors of child abuse and a voice for those struggling with addiction. Today, Arngram leads a fulfilling life, dedicated to her activism and continuing to act in various productions. Her legacy lies not only in her memorable performances but also in her resilience and commitment to making a positive impact on society. Number 2. Charlotte Ray, whose full name was Charlotte Ray Lebowski, was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She gained fame as an actress, comedian, and singer, with a career spanning over six decades. Ray is best known for her role as Edna Garrett in the popular television sitcoms, Different Strokes, and its spin-off, The Facts of Life. Despite her success on television, Charlotte Ray faced personal struggles, including battles with alcoholism and her husband's infidelity, which led to their divorce. Additionally, she battled breast cancer, which she later overcame. Tragically, Charlotte Ray passed away in 2018 at the age of 92 due to bone cancer. Her death saddened fans around the world, who remembered her fondly for her iconic roles and contributions to entertainment. Number 1. Phil Hartman, born in Brantford, Ontario, Canada, was a versatile actor, comedian, and voice artist known for his comedic genius and memorable characters. He gained widespread recognition as a cast member on the sketch comedy show, Saturday Night Live, during the late 1980s and early 1990s, where he showcased his impeccable comedic timing and talent for impressions. In addition to his work on SNL, Phil Hartman also found success as a voice actor, lending his talents to characters in animated series like The Simpsons, where he voiced Troy McClure and Lionel Hutz, and the classic film, The Brave Little Toaster. Despite his professional success, Phil Hartman faced personal challenges, including struggles with addiction and marital issues. Tragically, his life was cut short in 1998 when he was fatally shot by his wife, who then took her own life. Phil Hartman's untimely death shocked and saddened fans and colleagues alike, who remembered him as a comedic genius and a beloved entertainer. His legacy lives on through his timeless comedy and the enduring impact he made on the world of entertainment. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the tragic stories of forgotten stars from the 1970s. If you found this episode insightful and moving, don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more captivating content. Your support helps us continue to shed light on the hidden aspects of Hollywood's history. Together, let's ensure these stories are remembered and honored. See you in the next episode.